Hi everyone, Arlen here. Well, we're gonna start out today with the mantle reveal. Check it out, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I have a couple of things to explain. There are the bunnies, you know, on the little shelves that Chris made. Aren't they cute? They look perfect up there. And then you can see I went ahead and left the bows on these bunnies. I thought I might take them off when I did my bin reveal there, but I decided they match the burlap. So I left them on and they look really cute. And you will notice that I changed my mind on the eggs up on top of the candlesticks there. The blue ones that I got from Home Goods were just way too big. And I went in there and I was very disgruntled yesterday because these were the only two eggs that were the same in the store. And I brought them to the car and they had a hole in the bottom of them. And I'm like, oh, Chris, I don't know. What do you think? You think these will go? And he said, yeah. He says, I think they'll go really well. He said, if you put a candle up in there and I'll drill you a hole in the candlestick. And that is exactly what he did. And we stuck a little candle, blue candle, up in those clear eggs. And then to top everything off, there is my, I will cling to the old rugged cross frame, the floating frame that Stacy made me. Now what we had to do in order to have that work sitting there there is an outlet right behind here. And Chris ended up making me, let me see if I can pull this down very gently. He ended up making me a box that covers the outlet back there and covers all the wires. And he painted it perfect grayish, which is the same color as the wall. Isn't that spiffy? And he put, he ended up putting these little legs on the frame because I couldn't find a picture holder that held it as well. So he screwed on these little legs and painted them black. He is something else, isn't he? I'm telling you one thing, you guys. And I will show you a picture of this at night. It looks gorgeous at night. Oh my goodness, I did add a, a little bit of the egg garland. I added some more eggs here and there, and I made sure to cover up the white cord of the lights as best I could. I don't like the white corded lights, but that's okay. You can't hardly see it now. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna do anything else to the mantle. I think it looks beautiful, and it ties in beautifully with the Hearth. Ugh, I'm super happy with it. So today I'm going to be doing a centerpiece that will go right there on the credenza and I'm not going to add anything else to the credenza. If those two blue and white bunnies come from QVC eventually I'll probably replace the, the little candlesticks with the balls with the bunnies. Or I might not, I might put them somewhere else, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna grab my computer here and I'm gonna head over to the island over there and I've got one thing to show you that one of you guys sent to me and then we're gonna do a centerpiece and then I have a few questions to answer. So I will be right back when I get back to the island and get myself set up. Okie dokie everybody, here I am back here at my island. And what do y'all think about that mantle, huh? It is pretty. It is one of the prettiest ones I think we've ever designed. And it was Chris's idea to put the candles up in those clear eggs like that. They don't light up, but at night when the lights shine up on them, oh my goodness, it's stunning. And with the old rugged cross uh, floating frame that Stacy made me, it is stunning, you guys. And I'm not, and I don't mean to say that about my own house, <laughs> but because she made that for me, I feel like I can say that it's stunning. It looks beautiful right there. Center, center stage, it looks really pretty. So I'm super happy with how that worked out and how it ties in with the, with the hearth and everything. And, you know, as I've often said, 
my mantle and the hearth may be decorated a little bit more than the rest of the house will be. Sorry, that was my computer. Will be, but that is my focal point. In this whole side of the house, that fireplace, you can see that fireplace pretty much from anywhere you stand on this back side of the house. And that sets the tone. That absolutely sets the tone. So I'm super happy with how it worked out. Yay! And I'm glad it's finished and at night, as I said, I'll show you some pictures at the end of it at night. So stick around for those. It is beautiful at night, especially. So, but anyway, I do have a couple of things to show you and then a centerpiece to make and then a few questions. Uh, Lisa Sagardia, bless her heart, here comes Chris in the house. Now I have, a lot of you, bless your hearts, have been asking me if you can send me things. And I have said no to a few of you that I don't know that well. Please understand that I'm, I'm, I'm not wanting to hurt anybody's feelings by saying no at this time. I just need to get you to know you better. Miss Lisa, I have known pretty much since my channel opened. I used to have a P.O. box, you guys, but I had to close it down for safety reasons. So I, I just... I don't have a P.O. box and I don't give out my home address. So, but Lisa is one of the people that I did give my home address to a, while, a long time ago because I've been friends with her for, for a long time here on YouTube, you know. And you know, we are making, I'm getting to know each and every one of you more and more and more each time you comment and each time you tell me your stories and all of that. So please don't be hurt if I won't give you my home address quite yet because I need to get to know you better. Okay, but Miss Lisa, here comes Chris in the door. He goes, uh-oh. He goes, I said, what? He goes, wait till you see this box. I'm like, what in the world? We open this box, and here is this beautiful Ray Dunn Grandma's Kitchen <laughs> cookie jar. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I have the card that she had uh, with it. <laughs> Oh, Lisa, thank you so much. I love it. I love it. She says, sweet Arlen, I hope you enjoy this little gift. Now, when Maverick comes to visit, he knows there will be goodies for him in this canister. God bless you, XOXO, Lisa. Lisa Sagardia. <laughs> thank you so much, Lisa. I absolutely love this. And then Mr. Maverick will definitely learn where he can go and get his little cookies or treats or whatever I decide to put in here. I think I told you in, uh, on Facebook, I'll be putting my uh, peppermint patties in here for now. <laughs> so I love it. It'll sit right over here by my, by my picture frame. I love it. Thank you so much, Lisa. Love you, honey. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are so good to me. Too good to me. Wow. Also, before I get to making this tray, I wanted to show you something that I got from an Etsy shop. And it's, uh, I've had this on order for a little while. She was pretty good actually about getting it to me. And the Etsy shop's name is uh, Tiny Bird Vintage Craft. And these are decoupage, and I know a lot of you can decoupage on ceramic, but I went ahead and paid her for this. I don't decoupage. And I just thought these were super pretty. And I like to support Etsy shops and, and small businesses, you know, like Bobby there at perpetualribbons.com. I've got, by the way, I've got a, a order coming in from her that I will be hauling. But she wanted me to let you guys know that she is up and running and open. For those of you not in my Facebook group, my Facebook group knows this. But for those of you who, who aren't in my Facebook group, Bobby there at perpetualribbons.com is up and running and opened and she's got a great site you guys she's got a beautiful site and her ribbon is great quality and her customer service is unsurpassed so go over there and visit bobby at perpetualribbons.com see if you can find some ribbon for yourself <laughs> but anyway back to these aren't they cute and these are what I, they are ceramic underneath and these are what i'm going to be using in my tray here now, I am still collecting blue and white stuff, you guys. This, I am trying to keep that side of the room consistent with the blue and white. 
but there are going to be times when I, I just don't have the balloon. Wait, y'all saw my bunnies. So I'm going to, I'm going to be incorporating other things and it's going to be, it's going to be eclectic, my Easter decor, uh, but hopefully pretty. Hopefully I'll be able to pull it all together for you guys. <laughs> all right, let me move my computer for a second and move my camera around here. And we are going to put together very quickly uh, the centerpiece for my credenza. All right, so let me move my camera. Okay. All right, here's the tray we're going to be working with. This blue bird was sitting right back in that corner in here, and that is how I had the tray set up. So I'm going to leave pretty much everything as is, y'all. And this is exactly what I mean by plugging in Easter. You know, I'm just going to move this bird out of here. He's big, and I have little hands, and I have a terrible time maneuvering him around. I'm going to take him out, and then I'm going to set these two bunnies that I just got into this tray. Only problem is I need this little one bunny, I think I want him coming this way, to sit up a little higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue dot him onto this little piece of wood. I'm going to put it on the place where she did not decoupage. Oops. Come back. And that should hold him on there pretty well. I just want him to sit up a little higher. And he's gonna go back in the corner. And then this little little lady is gonna go right in front of him. I think I will move. I think I'm gonna put that back there and move this over here. This is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vase, Fenton vase that Amanda Thrasher got me. Is that not gorgeous, you guys? It is absolutely stunning. I love this. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do, except I thought I would add Risen, this little egg. I thought I would just add it up here to go along with Do Small Things With Great Love because I like that. And it pulls the blue up a little bit. So I'm gonna leave that Do Small Things With Love. I'm gonna leave this here and the Risen looks really cute like that. If I wanted to, I could raise it up, put it on a ramekin or something and raise it up. And I may do that. Let me get a little ramekin, hang on. Boy. I don't know where I got these little ramekins, but I got a bunch of little ramekins like this. I think I have like 12 of them. And I'm just gonna, again, with glue dots. What did I do without glue dots? I don't know. Put a couple. There you go. And that will raise it up just a little bit. Gonna raise the risen up <laughs> just a little bit. And then other than that, I am just going to be adding some of these same uh eggs that I have. I'm going to be putting a little bit in here. I don't actually think I need more than that in there. Just enough to catch the light, you know. I think that looks really pretty. And I need to turn this my way a minute. I'm just gonna try to, I'm gonna fluff this out first. I'm gonna fluff it all out, make it look a little bigger. And see. If I can just kind of weave it around here. Remember, fluffing just does isn't to do with, uh, you know, I always say that to fluff, fluff, fluff my bows, your bows when you make them, but also fluff, fluff, fluff your garlands, as I mentioned last week when I was, I don't know what I was doing, something, but you got to fluff, oh, the pipberries, when I was showing the pipberries, you would always kind of flip, you know, pull the pipberries out and make them look bigger and bigger. 
This does not want to stay in there, so just hang on there. And don't be afraid to play with things a little bit until you get it the way you want it, you know? And that, my friends, you know, pretty much do it. Except that I might need to get a little bit of greenery back in there just to hide that. Although I love it just like that. I think it's so pretty. Just have the blueberries back in there. I would probably camouflage it just fine. Here we go. I love it. There we go. So pretty, huh? I think that's super pretty. And you know, it doesn't have to be over the top in your face, Easter, but just adding the bunnies, adding the eggs subtly, I think it looks beautiful. And the risen, of course, oops, I have this. This is a little magnet. <laughs> that doesn't need to be in there. <laughs> I love it. I think it looks really pretty, just like that, and that's what I was going for. So there we go. I'll show you a picture of it in place when I get it back over there. Pretty. Okie dokie. Well, I'm happy with how that worked out, huh? That turned out really pretty. Simple, you guys. Anybody could do this stuff. Anybody can. Y'all always say, oh, you make things look so easy. That's not hard. Anybody could do that. The one bunny in the back is wanting to tilt forward right at the moment, so I might have to glue dot the block to the tray, I think. Okie dokie. I opened my computer back up here, and I've got four questions. Four questions to answer. I hope everybody's doing okay today. I missed you guys yesterday, and I actually might be taking the weekend off, you guys. And that's okay. You know, we're just, we're kind of moving on through the Easter here. And, uh, you know, so keep the questions coming, and that way I'll, I can save some questions. I, sh I have Bobby's ribbon coming next week. I'll have that to haul for you. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep plugging along on the Easter too. So, all right. Okay. Let's see here. Number one is from Linda Boo. Hi, Lynn. I absolutely love your beautiful, shiny floors. And I'm thinking of getting rid of our carpet and getting all new flooring. Wow. That's a big job. <laughs> 
What kind do you have? Are they durable? Are you happy with them? Are they easy to clean? <laughs> uh, we have Bruce Hardwood, and the color is Kenya from Bruce. And our builder installed them. Now, we upgraded all the flooring. We did upgrade all the flooring. And we love them. We love them. Now, that said, you had, your next question was, uh, are they durable? They are very durable if you don't have Newfoundland dogs. <laughs> if you guys get really close to down in places, not all over the place, but in places, especially Miss Sophie, where she used to lay, my big black Newfie, she scratched the floor. She put some surface scratches on the floor. So, you know, we will have to do some sanding and some restaining probably if we want them back to pristine the way they were. Now, where the dogs did not ever make it have any, you know, damage it, it looks pristine and they are very durable in my opinion. So, uh, they are easy to clean. We use Bona, as I've said many, many times, B-O-N-A. Floor clean. never had to put any kind of like wax or anything like that we won't put anything like that on them because that would put a a film on the top that would just be terrible to get off uh, and then she says have a beautiful day my youtube friend <laughs> you too girl you too thank you for those questions uh you know it's that is such a personal choice uh whether to get uh hardwoods or not you know and, and a lot of things went into our decision and we went ahead and got them even with the noofs, but um, you know they still look beautiful. They still look beautiful, but they are they do have some scratches on them if you get really close. So, all right, number two is from Bernadette Riviera. Hi, Lynn. I'm looking to buy some new furniture. I love your black hutch, and was wondering if it's hard to keep clean. I'm kind of a clean freak, lol, and I'm afraid it will show the dust more and make more work for myself. Just wondering if you would recommend the black or should I stay with more of an oak piece? Thanks for all you do to entertain us. God bless. God bless you too, Miss Bernadette. Now there again, that's another personal choice. You know, I, I don't have to dust it too much because I don't have dogs anymore. When I did have dogs, even with the air purifiers, which does help cut down on the dust. It really does help cut down on the dust. It, it's, um, now, if you get one in your house and you, you know, it's not going to, you're not going to go, wow, all my dust is gone. Of course not. You're still going to have to dust, you know, but the air purifiers do help. They are linked in the description box in my Amazon shop, if you are at all interested in those. Again, though, I love the look of the black and I like how the black furniture anchors all of my decor and I think it looks stunning in here but I do have to dust it. I mean, you know, it does show, it will show the dust quicker, of course, quicker than an oak piece. Of course it will, because it's black, you know. <laughs> so common sense would tell us that, you know, it's going to show the dust and it does, but I just dust when I need to dust. I don't have to dust every day. You know, I dust probably once a week, you know, and it, if, it, if it's a little dusty and, it, and, and I'm not having anybody come by and I say, oh yeah, okay, that's dusty, mental note. I've got to go back and dust that, <laughs> you know, I dust it. So, but I would rather take the time to dust it than I would not, uh, to not have it, to compromise because I, I love the look of the black furniture. I did not realize I would. I was nervous. I will tell you guys when Chris said, I love this black furniture. I told you guys he picked all this furniture out. I was like, Chris. That's really dark. I don't know. He said it's a big house, R. He said it's okay. It's not going to make the house look smaller or anything like that. Because I always thought, you know how black black makes us big girls look smaller. You know, I, I, I telescope that all into, well, black furniture's going to make the house look smaller. And it doesn't. If anything, it, it, it opens it up a little bit more, in my opinion. So, Bernadette, I would say don't go with what I say. Go with what you really want. That's what I would say. That's the advice I would give, you know, is to do what you, what your gut is telling you and what you really want to do and what you're willing to do. Because yes, I will say, I'm going to be honest and say, yes, black furniture is going to probably cause you more work just because it's black, you know? <laughs> so I hope that helps. I don't know. <laughs> 
Okay, number three is from Ms. Jan Reynolds. Hey, Arlen, I have a question for your next Q&A. Now that you've finished your blue and white decor, stunning, I might add, but thank you very much, <laughs> and beginning to add in your Easter decor, have you had any thoughts at all on your fall and Christmas decor for this year? Seems each year when I'm putting mine away, I have all these thoughts on how I would like to change it up for next year. Just wondering if you do the same, thanks. Uh, I didn't this year, Jan, because I did a big change with my Christmas. I took all the burgundy out this year and added red and white and gold. That was on this side of the house. That was kind of my theme, running theme on this side of the house. And I'll still be working on incorporating that for next Christmas, when I find red pieces, really true red pieces, I will be adding those in and purging more of the burgundy. So for Christmas, yes, I'll continue to do that. Also, I found the blue and white tree this year. So I kind of started over in the front of the house with the blue and white. So I will probably continue on with that again if when I find pieces. I'm still tweaking those two decors kind of that I that I just kind of introduced this year I will kind of tweak those and add and augment those two so no I won't be changing doing big huge changes for next year because uh, for Christmas anyway and for fall I don't see myself changing at all really for fall I feel like I, I really like what I'm doing with the blue and white and burnt orange I think it's stunning. I think that it saves me tons of time, even though I do change out a good many things. I bring up a fall tree. I, you know, I do a lot for fall, but it's still less than switching every little thing out like I do for Christmas, you know. So I don't foresee myself doing anything really different for fall, but I will continue to add things in as I see them, you know, like blue and white pumpkins or blue, you know, if I see more blue and light and white accents that I want to incorporate. And that way, one of these times, Chris did not want me to do it this year. I wanted to purge all of my regular fall color stuff. He said, don't do that yet. He said, don't do that yet. He said, we have a basement. We have plenty of room down here. Keep your bins with that decor in it. Cause I've got them separated now. I've got my blue and white bins, fall bins, and my regular, you know, like, all the rust and yellow and, you know, just the, your, your regular fall colors. You know, I've got them separated though. Uh, so I've kept them, but I, I, I don't know, you know, he said, don't get rid of them yet. Cause I do have a lot, you know, but so I, I guess I will have to say this year, no. In years past, yes, I have, Jan, I have. But this year, I don't think I did because I'm really happy with what I'm working with and I want to continue to add to it. So that way, I guess I did. I, I'm talking in circles. I am talking in circles. Y'all following me? I doubt it. Oh, my land. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> in the way that I would maybe be adding and augmenting to my what I did this year or in 2020, that is the way that I've been thinking about it. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna quit yammering on about this now. Let's move on to our next last question. <laughs> it's from Twyla Guthrie, and this is an easy one, and this is one, uh, one that you've heard a lot of times, you guys. Uh, she says, your house is always so tidy. Do you clean the house or do you have someone clean it? And as I've said before, nope, Chris and I both, not just me, I don't do it by myself by any stretch of the imagination. My husband, Chris and I, both of us cleaned this house. And, uh, when it comes a time when we cannot handle this house, whether he can't handle the outdoors and I can't handle the indoors and he does the vacuuming, him and the Roomba, you know, but when it comes to that time, that's when we'll downsize and move on out of here. Uh, we're hoping to get another decade, knock on wood, in here. We hope, uh, you know, but... Uh, sorry. sorry about that, Candace is texting me. <laughs> uh, but... Yeah, no, we do all our cleaning. We do all our cleaning. I, I don't want to hire somebody to come in and clean our house when we're, when we're capable of doing it. So that's it, Twyla. And that is all my questions, you guys. That's all the questions I've, I've gotten for the last couple of days here. So I guess that's it. I don't have anything else to share with you. As I said, I've got the, the order coming from Bobby. That's on its way. And I, it's a big order. I've got a lot of ribbon coming. I ordered it myself, you know, and, uh, 
I don't know what I'm going to be doing with the cozy corner, which is usually next in the queue, you know, for my Easter decor. It'll probably so, be next yeah. week. You know, I think I am going to take Saturday and Sunday off just to kind of, you know, spread this out a little bit, a little bit. I do want to get it done. You know, next week we'll be doing probably a good many things, you know, but, but anyway, all right, that's it. I'm going to go put this uh, centerpiece in place on the credenza. So I'll take you back over and take you over just to music. Uh, you know, the, the mantle and the hearth and over to the credenza. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for stopping in here. Thank you so much for all of your sweet comments and your precious, precious support. And, and you guys, as I've, I say this all the time, I have the best subscribers in the whole wide world. I really do. I really do. And I know I, I do try to respond to questions that I can respond to quickly you know, within the comments, but when you see my heart show up, you know that I've read your comment and have taken it right to my heart. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, all right. Thank you guys so much. And I'm gonna go into my final words and say, for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.